Well, on my very first full day in office as governor of Arkansas, I placed a large framed photo in the outer office where all the guests would first come. Uh, there was a bronze plate at the bottom of that frame, and it simply read, Our Boss. Lest you think that my picture occupied that frame, let me quickly tell you that in the over 10 and a half years that I occupied that office, not once did my likeness ever fill that frame. Every couple of weeks, we would place the photo of a couple celebrating a 50th wedding anniversary, or a newly named Eagle Scout, or maybe a local school teacher, police officer, or even a custodian for an office building. In our weekly staff meeting, I would often remind our entire team to be sure and pay attention to the person in that frame. I told them repeatedly, never forget who your boss is. I went on to tell them that their boss wasn't the guy with the nice office on the second floor that overlooked the Arkansas River out of the north window and Capitol Avenue from the east window. Nope. I worked for the same boss they did. Every single citizen of the state of Arkansas. We worked for them, not the other way around. And since they were our bosses, if a citizen came to visit or they called on the phone or they emailed us, we were never to think of them as being a pest, a bother, or an inconvenience. They were, in fact, our boss. No matter if someone came to the Capitol with less than fashionable garments or even if they had the smell of several days' hard work still on them, each and every person would be treated with respect and dignity. Our job was not to get rid of them, but to see how we could assist them. I said to our staff, if someone finally got up the courage to call, email, or actually visit the governor's office at the state capitol, their situation must be pretty desperate. And while they might be, in fact, bringing something to us that was maybe nowhere near the scope of our office, it was our job to connect them with who could best help them. And never forget, no matter who they were, we worked for them. Now, public service is just that. It's serving the public. Upon election, one doesn't get smarter, superior, or more stylish. We should never think that we became so important so as to deserve having people serve us. We were placed in a place to make the people's priorities, to make them big, and to make our own interest small. So when I read the story of Richard Robinson, a member of the York County, Pennsylvania School Board, read it this week, who actually wrote an opinion column in the local paper called the York Dispatch, I was frankly appalled at his attitude because in his op-ed, Robinson wrote, I quote, with all due respect to the men and women who snarl, I'm a taxpayer and you work for me, no, I don't work for you, end quote. Actually, sir, I disagree. You do work for these people who pay taxes and pay your salary. You ask for the job. They didn't give you power. They loaned you power, but it still belongs to them, the people. By the way, you weren't elected because you're smarter than them or better than them. You're elected because you asked them for the job and you promised to serve them. So see whether one is elected to school board, city council, Congress, the governorship, or the White House. Being elected does not make one a boss. It makes one a servant. Now, not a weakling or a waffling coward, no. But, but one who sacrifices self to put others first. I'm convinced that that's what is mainly wrong in government and politics today. It's not just about Democrats and Republicans. It's also whether you see the job as serving others or being served by others. And I'd say this, never make the mistake of voting for someone who would put a frame in their office, label it our boss, and put their own likeness in the frame. <laughs> Here's a little tip. If someone asks for your vote, ask them, who will their boss be? And if they don't know, 
Don't you dare waste a vote on them. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.